Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Last week I made a video on my optometry school day interview experience and so today I wanted to share about 20 questions that you can potentially be asked on an interview. Before we get started on the interviewing questions, I wanted to give you guys some advice for the day of your interview. So first, be honest and genuine. Show passion about why you're there. Ask engaging questions. Be awake, be excited. Show them that you really want that spot in their school. Don't lie on anything on your interview because they will know and that just makes you look really bad. Because you don't really know what's going to be asked of you on the interview, it's always good to have examples and things you want to bring up in the back of your hand. So basically have a hierarchy of things that you want to mention. For me, it was being an RA, it was volunteering, it was being an ambassador for Kaplan, all that stuff. And I know that I can answer any of the questions that are given to me with some of the examples I already have in the back of my head. And lastly, speak slowly. I know that when you get nervous, you tend to speed up and that's honestly really bad because you don't want to stutter, you don't want to keep saying um at the end of every sentence. So it's really good to receive the question, think, and then answer. Be direct with your answer and try to follow with an example to back up your answer. Alright, let's get started with the optometry interview questions. I have them in front of me. Let's get started on number one, which is the very obvious, tell me about yourself. Um, here's your chance to tell them things that weren't already stated on your resume. So don't restate your personal statement, but tell them about yourself. Talk about what inspires you, what interests you, what makes you stand out from everyone else, your passions. Honestly, be specific. Don't ramble on. But um, try not to bring up so much about academics because they already know about that stuff. You can either wrap it up by linking it to optometry or just leave it at that because we're going to go to the next question which is why optometry or what influenced you into choosing optometry. Um, since you are at an optometry school interview, you should already have an answer to this already. Um, be honest and genuine with your answer. Most of the times interviewers can tell if you're being dishonest or you're exaggerating. Try to be positive. I mean, you can talk about like a life-changing experience or something negative, but still try to uplift the situation and make it into something positive, something happy. Next is what brings you to blank whatever school that you are interviewing at. So remember to research, research, research about their school before going to the interview. Talk about what they offer, talk about their student life, talk about the city, bring up everything that you saw when you researched the school that made you fall in love with the school. This is going to make the interviewer see how passionate you are about their school and how excited you are. So next is what are your personal weaknesses? Answer that and then tell them how you have tried to overcome that or how you're working on it. Don't say things like, I work too hard or I am too much of a perfectionist because that doesn't look good. Next question is your personal strengths. Back up your strengths with examples. Give about two to three and tell them why those are your strengths because X, Y, and Z, whatever you did. Next is any optometry experiences. This is a good time to bring up everything you've done, whether it be vision walks, vision screenings, working at an eye clinic. Um, if you are gonna say working at an eye clinic, bring up all the duties that you did when you were there. Talk about how you managed the front desk, that you were receptionist, you worked with a patient, you did this machine, you ran this test, this and that. So just as much experience that you can think of. Next is the differences between an optician, optometrist, and an ophthalmologist. If you don't know that, Google it. How could you contribute to the student body? And that's a question for you. Um, be creative. Talk about your strength, some things that they might not know about you that you can bring up. For me, I would personally say something about how I'm very neat with taking notes. That's something I can share with my peers. This pertains to you, whatever you are comfortable with and whatever you like. What are your hobbies? They want to know that you are a person too, not just whatever is on your resume, but who you are, what you like to do. What volunteering work have you done? This also is for you. Just tell them about the volunteering experiences you've had. Do you know the different settings that optometrists can work in? That's something you can Google. Would you want to continue your education after finishing optometry school? Answer is always yes. You always want to further your education and be better. What made you choose optometry as a profession other than any other health-related profession such as dentistry, medicine, pharmacy, etc.? 
this again pertains to you what do you expect to get out of an education at blank so speak about the good things about their school and how you think that would benefit you in the long run how do you handle stress what do you do for fun any clinical experience what is an optometrist oddly that is a question that one of my friends have been asked and lastly, what would you do if you caught someone else cheating on an exam? Those are one of those ethical questions that you have to answer correctly. Um, even if it's something that you wouldn't do, doesn't matter. So those are the questions I have down. These questions have been asked to my friends and I during our interviews. So this is something that we kind of put together. Um, every optometry school is going to be different, but this is generally the scope of the questions that they're going to be asking you. I hope you enjoy the video. Give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you can. Um, if you have any further questions, send me a message on Instagram and I'll try to respond as soon as I can. Have a good day everyone. Good luck on your interview.